Hey guys, it's Sam. I'm here with a special guest, my husband Rick, and we are going to be doing a video today about Portland Leather Goods and my Father's Day guide. This is not an inclusive, no, what is it called? Exclusive? No, like as if it's about. all of the, all of the things. Exhaustive. Okay. <laughs> While this is not an exhaustive list of everything that Portland Leather has to offer that would be a great fit for Father's Day, these are the top items that I thought would be the most enjoyable for my husband. So I'm going to be going over the items and getting my husband's reaction and what he thinks. Now you do appreciate leather, right? I like okay. leather. He likes leather. And um, you've seen a lot of Portland Leather packages. I have. Yes. So he's very familiar with the company. Um, I will note <laughs> before we get started that I am a Portland Leather Ambassador. Most of the things that I'm going to be featuring in the video today I paid with our own money. <laughs> oh yes, speaking of those boxes. Uh, so I paid for most of these items but there is a little bit of something that's a surprise from Portland Leather to you uh, as part of this video that uh, we did not pay for. I do have an ambassador link that's going to be in the description box. I also leave it in my Instagram bio. If you've ever found any of my reviews or posts on Instagram helpful, I do appreciate it when you use that link. I do earn a small commission. It doesn't cost you anything extra. And I use those funds to buy more Portland leather <laughs> so that I can do more reviews and videos for you. And then I also try to tuck away a little bit of money uh, for little getaways for us. So we have a couple of trips upcoming here that we are looking forward to. So anytime you use my link, I am so appreciative. And my husband will look forward to bringing in many more Portland leather boxes. <laughs> <laughs> it also helps me stay on the team. So thank you so much for your support. Without further ado, we are going to get into it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So I think that a couple of these things you might not have seen before. And we- Seems had, impossible. And you don't have the best memory. <laughs> So you might have forgotten about a couple of them. Okay, so first up is something that is mine, but I think is very unisex. And this is going to be the minimalist wallet. This is actually found in the Portland Leather mystery boxes. And then you can find them if you get your husband to fly you out to Portland, um, <laughs> to one of the shops, <laughs> the outlet or the um, storefront. So I picked this one because it's a super simple design and you need to, um, you need to carry less cards a lot of the time. But I thought that this would be really good for, remember the camera. No, not, not Phantom White. <laughs> but I'm supposed to look at it. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, so I thought that this one would be really good. Uh, maybe when you're traveling and you don't want to take as many cards and you're more concerned about like the bulk of your wallet. So what do you think about this one? Yeah, I mean, it would work really well because I like front pocket wallets. Yeah. I don't like back pocket wallets. Right. So, I mean, there's enough room for several cards and then you can tuck some cash in there. So Yeah. Okay. So That's this one cool. is in the color honey. I know that your preference is usually some darker leathers. Yeah. You, you seem to always like that. But this one is the minimalist wallet in honey. And I think that would be great for any father. The next one is a passport holder. And I think that the name is self-explanatory, but you can purchase these on the website. They're not always available. And then sometimes they are in mystery boxes. And I'm pretty sure that this one is, uh, I'm pretty sure that this one is in the Canyon leather. I could be wrong, but. I like that leather better. Yeah, because like it's this. a little darker. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, maybe one day we'll get to go on a triple world. We will need passports, right? <laughs> right. Right. So far. Right now, I don't know what I would do with this. Right, right. But Although I Although this would be, this might work for, I mean, if you're into that sort of thing, uh, carrying around uh, field notes all the time. It'd yes. be a good size that, yeah. for that too, so. I have tested it out on the fields notes. Um, if you're in the planner community, my husband dabbles from time to time and mostly loses planners. <laughs> Um, but the field notes, you would have to cut it down just slightly to get it to fit in this back pocket. Mm. But um, I have these tucked away. Uh, this one's actually yours, so I'm glad that oh. you like it. Um, I have one in another color for myself, and I have this tucked away in a drawer so that if we ever get to travel with a passport, we can take this with us. Very so cool. I'm really glad you like it. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, and this one is, this one came in a recent mystery box, but you can purchase them online as well. And this one is the key fob uh, with the, what is this called? Uh, 
Uh, carabiner? Oh, yeah, carabiner. Carabiner, okay. Yeah. So I mentioned in my last video that I really like that this one has the three three trees on it because I think that's really nice. But I think that, it, in my opinion, it can go either way uh, for a female or a male. But I feel like it's got that, like, I don't know, kind of more utility feel to mm -hmm. it that would be good for a Father's Day gift. What do you yeah. think? I mean, it's not pretty like that. It's right, it's right. it's a uh, yeah. It's it's utility. Yeah. And the thing that I like about it, especially, is that the the latch on it is good and heavy. It's like right. heavy duty. It's not right. cheap. So, and I really like the patina on the metal. Yes. So I like that too. Yeah. It's so cool. yeah, you definitely could take this like outdoorsy stuff and not worry about it failing. Like he said, it's got a really hefty feel to it and it, it's not yeah, it's not chintzy. coming apart yeah it's not chintzy yeah. so that's perfect <clears throat> and then not all guys are writers but not all girls are writers either and this is something that i recently got in a mystery box as well and this is going to be the leather wrap journal now you are quite the writer so i could definitely see you using this what do you think i mean I have a romantic notion of things like this. Yes. Because I do write. Yes. Regularly, I just don't write in notebooks as regularly as I would like to. Because but if you I lose did, time. this is the kind of thing I would like to have for sure. Right. Like this is the kind yeah. of thing that I think of people like carrying with them like throughout their whole life, you yeah. know. And this would age really nicely. Yeah. You know, it would look better over time. Right. And I like the strap too. I and think you that's can get cool. Um, you can get refills for this one if you are not familiar with it. There is, uh, oh, this one has a hide. This one has a hide mark too. Uh, people really love this. I oh, love it when I find. I didn't know this. what that was. Yeah, it's That's a hide cool. stamp, and so uh, people in the Portland Leather group really like to share when they find this in their hmm. uh, bags specifically. So this one is actually the lined journal, and you can buy refills for this as well. So it's nice quality. It's sewn binding and it's held on there kind of like traveler's notebook style with that band. So really cool. And who doesn't love a good leather with nice brass rivets in it? And right. It's pretty classic looking. That's what I'm looking. saying. Yeah. yeah. So I think this would be a great one. I'm glad you like it too because you know I'm not writing that down. All right. So this is the big daddy. This is the biggest, this is the biggest piece of Portland leather that I own actually and I don't remember if you remember this or not. I don't know if I do. I I purchased this months and months ago. I'm gonna put it over here by you. All right so this um, I will mention that he doesn't know about this yet but um, we were out last night and I was trying on clothes and I needed him to uh, carry my backpack for me and we were leaving the store and I realized he still had it. So I took a picture of him <laughs> and I shared it on the Portland Leather Insiders page. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and it looked good. I'm going to insert a picture here for you guys to see it too. Um, but this one is the roll top backpack. Now this one is, Bye. in my <laughs> opinion, um, <laughs> better sized for not every day and there are people who use this bag every day but that person is not me i don't have enough to carry this every day but i picked this one up this one is in sedona i picked this up specifically for our next trip so the next mm -hmm. time we have to hop on an airplane i thought that we could use this so it's its proportions are that you know it's <clears throat> not as deep but it is tall and we had little to carry to start with. You can roll it down tighter than this. And then as we went along, if we were bringing home tchotchkes or Metallica shirts or whatever, we would be able to let it be not as rolled yeah. so that you can fit more in it. Or if you um, carry it every day, it could fit. If you like carried a laptop with you yeah. every day, it would fit a laptop. Right, as I'm not carrying a laptop, that right. didn't make sense for me. But I think that a lot of men specifically, this would be the best option that Portland Leather has for something to carry every day. Yeah. And I thought you might like this leather, which is why I chose it. I so do. what do you think? Yeah, I like it. I think that it ha does have a, a leaning masculine style to it. So I didn't think that you would have a problem carrying this one on an airplane. No, this is pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. 
just a lot of leather. A lot of it leather. It is, but it's, I like the texture of it. I like textured leather rather than whatever smooth. that's called. Yeah. yeah, the smooth leathers. Yeah. Yeah, definitely like that. All right. So, so. next are two items that I know you've never seen before because you're going to open them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so when this package arrived in the mail, I knew what was coming. Um, this is a giant box for like no reason. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's very, it should have been much smaller than this. Included inside this box, two presents. There are two presents from Portland Leather for Father's Day for you in here. So thank you, Portland Leather, for sending these. Lucky guy. I know. Okay. I'm excited so to see them hold, too. Does it? No. You have no. to hold on to it. Whoops. I feel like you're safer with this than I am. Always cut away from yourself, kids. I never follow that rule. Mm, bad news. I know. Drum roll. Okay, should I take the big thing out first? I would take everything out of the box. Oh, okay. And then we'll Suck just move it. it. Then, okay. Yeah. That's it. Two things. Something else just... Oh, okay, it's a card. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. The card. There we go. The card. All right. Do you want the big <clears throat> thing or the small thing first? And we'll start with the small thing. Next. Okay. Very nice packaging. Yes. The stamps a nice touch. Or the sticker. The sticker, yes. Don't rip that. I'll put it in my planner. Well, I can't get it off the paper. That's fine. Okay, I'll get there it. There you go. Okay. Keepsake. Right. It's very carefully packaged. Yes. Very nice. More than needed. Oh. That's handsome. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Oh, room for cash. Okay, so this is the, I think it has a tag on it here. I love the color of that. That's it's almost like a burgundy. It's cognac. Oh, okay. I have a couple of bags in that color. So this is the men's bifold wallet in cognac. Or cog? cog cognac. Co cognac. Well, yeah. I mean, some other people We're say. We're not drinkers. No. <laughs> but other people pronounce it different ways, but that's what I always say. Yeah. So let's see what, what this one has. So okay. it's a bifold wallet. Yeah, so... And I love that too. I don't know what that's called, but I like that texture. It's just it's like a suede. I mean, it's just the inside of yeah, the and then, leather. This is what full, that's what full grain leather is all about. Okay, I'm not very initiated, I suppose. Yeah, well, but yeah. So two pockets on each side with a. I like that it's not just flat, which is yeah. would be fine, but that's kind of cool. Some design to it's it. It's got like an angled. So it's got the room for the cash. Room for, well, technically, there are four card slots, which I think that you need to pare your wallet down anyway. Um, so in my experience with Portland Leather, you'll probably be able to get more than one card in here if you really had to. And then the back just has the Portland Leather Goods stamp with one little tree. So. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, that's Yeah. Neat. Yeah. It's very handsome. It's nice. Yeah. That's very nice. And if you don't... Thank you, Portland Leather. <laughs> if you don't bulk it up with cards, this would yeah. fit in your front pocket right. really well still, yeah. too. Could do both. Yep. Okay. Here's your other item. Well, here's another sticker. Yay, that one comes off Look a lot that. easier. Okay. They really take the time to pack these, don't they? Yes, they do. Burrito. <laughs> All right. Ooh. So this is kind of a newer item. It's like a travel bag. Yes, it's yeah. called a dop kit. So this Hello, one, what? it's a dop kit. I don't know what that means. What are you saying? Dop. D O P. D O P P. Oh, D O P P. D O P P. It's a dop kit, and so this is a newer offering from Portland Leather. I have not seen these at all in person yet. Oh. And it's the combination of canvas and leather. I like that. They also have this in an all leather, but I think that even though it would be nice to have one that's all leather, I think the addition of the canvas keeps it maybe a little bit lighter. Um, I, love, I think is, it's preferable actually. Uh, okay, I, okay. I like the canvas a lot. Yeah, I so like this is for our trips. Oh, um, cool. What do you usually carry your toiletries in right now? Oh, what a quiz. I don't know. Oh, well, well we, usually like one of those little 
Haven't I been carrying like an Uber bag or something like that? Yes, but what what are, what are your toiletries in to put into the bag? Oh, uh, like a plastic yes, bag. Yes, yeah, yeah, a Ziploc, a Ziploc bag. bag yeah. So this is a major upgrade mm, yeah, for our next is. trip. Now this one is let's see. Um, I don't know the name of the canvas, so let me see. It just says brown. So this is brown canvas, and this is my favorite pebbled leather, the nutmeg. Um, and I love the way the nutmeg smells, and this is beautiful. So there's just some, um, there's the nutmeg on the, br on the bottom, and it has the Portland leather stamp here, and then there's just some detailing with the leather as well. So let's uh, and the let's and the yeah, this is like again, a brushed bron patina. Yeah, bronze. they're the bronze. So it's not like this bright women's right. clothing brass. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's something so. that I appreciate as well. And the zipper is like heavy duty. Yep, the yeah. YKK zipper. Yeah, nice. All right, and it also has this here, so that you can, you can expand, expand it. it. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's super cool. Let's yeah. take out the tissue. All right. <laughs> it's like a clown car. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. You're not going to be able to see it on camera, but. Yeah. Well, we could try. Yeah, yeah it's got that. Whatever that's called. I don't know. Full grain it's leather. The, yeah, it's the, inside, it's, yeah. It, yep, it's the other side nice. of the hide. And then you have the, the canvas as well. Smells so good. <laughs> smell. Hmm, yeah. yeah, smells good. I mean, leather smells great. Right, right. Well, but their stuff cool always smells really good. Yes, it does. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna take this off here too, so that we can, so we can be even. And what do you think? Do you think that this has enough space that we will be down a couple of? Um, you think for both of us baggage? to use? I think I'm gonna have to get my own. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, when we go on a plane, we'll still need the plastic bag for the liquids. Right, you have to have it. Um, but this will be able to take everything that's non-liquid. But yeah. I... Well, you wouldn't want to put liquid in this, really, would you? No. I mean, unless, unless it was in plastic. In a plastic yeah. bag, which I guess kind of defeats the purpose. But, but if you need to take a razor with you, which obviously I don't, but... <laughs> that would, <laughs> sure. it would work well for that. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like our basic stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I think, what do you think? A matching like set? I think I should order one. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> Another Portland leather box. On so, the do way. they have other? They'll put it. They have it in other leathers. Yes. Too. So the canvas. There's a black, and then there's a navy that I'm sure of, and it has different like contrasting or matching leathers that yeah. go with it. But I contrast really, stitching would look great. Yeah, I really like nutmeg, so I think that we'll probably just buy another one of these and make a matching set. Yeah. So. You'll have another box to bring in while I'm at work. I what guess. do you think? Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's we have. My, that's my life every <laughs> that's day. That's right. So we have the dop kit and the wallet, and we have the journal cover and the passport holder, the keychain, the minimal, the minimalist. Easy for you to say the minimalist wallet, and the roll top backpack, which is the big daddy. And I think that the all of these, Day. yeah, I think all of these are Father's Day winners. So what do you think? I agree. Yeah, I all like right. them all. Okay, good. Good stuff. This worked out perfectly then since you liked everything. So my husband is usually here and knows that I'm, I'm always horrible about trying to end a video. So we'll see if I can do any better with him here with me. Staring it's, at you. Yes, staring at me. Please do. Please do. Okay, guys. So I hope that you really like this video. I really appreciate you agreeing to come on and join in the video with me. I thought that that was a lot of fun. And I'm especially excited that my gift ideas were winners. So Very good. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Portland Leather, for always supporting me and for sending these items for us to look at today. We're definitely, definitely going to be ordering another DOP kit because that one's, that one's pretty nice. Yeah, it's very yeah, nice. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, like I said, don't forget that I have my ambassador link in the description box, and I also have it on my Instagram. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here and don't want to miss out on future videos, unfortunately, they'll just be with me instead of my dear husband. <laughs> oh, I would appreciate you subscribing. Thanks so much for joining us today, and I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Your favorite man in your life this is the list that i have come up with what
What? <laughs> favorite man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what it's for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs>